Hello everyone, welcome to Programming Credit. Today in this video, we'll be discussing about uh, what are the differences between self-paced courses and live courses. So both of uh, these mode of deliveries are online, but uh, it can change your user experience quite a lot. So I'll be discussing few points and uh, based on those points, you can select any of them. So uh, with that being said, let's move forward. But before moving forward, if you are new here or if you, or if you haven't uh, subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead, subscribe to the channel and be a part of Programming Gradle family and also hit that bell icon so that you get notified each time when our video goes live. Now with that being said, let's start our discussion. So uh, first we'll see the benefits of uh, self-paced courses. Uh, in that, uh, the first point is learn at your own pace. So uh, you can go uh, faster, you can go slower. So uh, whereas in live classes, you cannot ask an uh, educator to go faster or go slower because he'll be teaching at his own pace and you will have to keep up with that. Uh, but uh, in uh, pre-recorded sessions or self-paced courses, uh, what you can do is uh, you can watch the video at uh, uh, 1.5x or maybe 1.25x if you are someone who uh, can grasp the concepts really well and really fast. Uh, but if you are someone who find it uh, hard, a little bit hard to uh, understand some concept, you can go slow and take small steps and uh, you don't have to worry about the speed of the educator. Uh, and also if you are someone who likes to take notes and uh, uh, you like to uh, make notes on your own. So I think self-paced courses are for you because you can pause the video in between and then uh, take down notes and again move a little bit forward then pause the video and take down notes. Whereas in uh, live classes, you cannot just ask educator to please wait, I'm making notes because uh, he will have to uh, consider other students as well. So uh, this is a, a big plus point for self-paced courses. Now let's move on to the next point, uh, which is uh, schedule as per your convenience. So uh, in uh, self-paced courses, you can watch them at any point of time in a day, or you can also you can watch it as much longer as you want. Whereas in uh, live classes, you will have to wait for the class uh, whenever it is scheduled on a particular day or a particular time. Uh, but uh, it is not possible for you to always be available at that point. So maybe uh, you will miss that uh, class and then you will have to see the recordings. And if you are seeing the recording, then again, it is uh, same as self-paced courses. So there is no uh, point in taking a live classes, right? So uh, yeah, this is a plus point uh, here for uh, self-paced uh, learning and also uh, if a live class is scheduled for uh, just two hours so you will be uh, learning for just two hours and after that you can of course do practical stuff uh, but uh, you won't be able to move forward in the course like uh, covering new topics whereas in uh, self-paced courses uh, let's say on weekends you have good amount of time and you want to put like uh, five or six hours and uh, with this you can move considerably uh, good amount uh, in the in the course so yes uh, this is a plus point for self-paced courses now let's move on to the next point uh, which is uh, shorter lectures so uh, if you are attending a live classes and uh, maybe the educator uh, found some technical issues so you will have to wait for uh, that issue to get resolved and also if uh, something uh, went wrong or if uh, sometimes the educator is not getting what is wrong in the code or something like that so uh, you will again have to wait for that to get that issue resolved whereas in uh, self-paced courses uh, there is uh, no way that you can get technical issues because if while recording uh, the lectures if educator got some technical issues he or she would have uh, removed it uh, while post processing the lectures and uh, also uh, they would have removed the unwanted uh, part uh, which uh, they would have uh, found in the self-paced courses so yeah the lectures are considerably shorter uh, in self-paced courses so these were the uh, benefits of self-paced courses now let's some of the uh, benefits of uh, live courses so the first point is updates um, by updates what i mean is uh, teachers uh, usually get better uh, when they uh, teach for uh, some times and so uh, let's say if a teacher is teaching for the first time and uh, he taught few things to the students and uh, 
uh, when he is teaching the same concept next time he might have got few new ideas like uh, how he can improve his uh, teaching so again that will help you if uh, you are taking the live courses but uh, in pre-recorded courses uh, you, you, you don't have this uh, facility because once the uh, lectures are recorded they are recorded uh, they are not going to uh, change that unless it unless there are some uh, significant amount of improvement in uh, teaching style and also uh, adding new stuff is uh, easier in uh, live courses so uh, let's say uh, somebody is teaching if if else uh, statements in python and uh, they taught uh, if else condition and uh, simple if but they forgot to add uh, if else ladder so of course uh, when they uh, teach for the next time they can add if else ladder in that uh, video whereas if you have recorded the video and uploaded it um, there are chances you won't be updating it but uh, it depends on the course if they are constantly updating their course or not so uh, yeah this is a plus point for uh, live courses now let's move on to the next point uh, which is uh, doubt clearing uh, and uh, it is one of the uh, most important and plus point for live courses because you will get your doubts uh, cleared then and there so you don't have to wait or you don't have to post your questions in the community but also if the class size is very big it's not possible to uh, answer all the doubts of all the students so uh, i'm not saying that uh, that your doubts will be solved but uh, yes there are chances that your doubts will be solved then and there and uh, whereas in uh, pre-recorded session you will have to post your questions in the community and you will have to wait for uh, the answers so uh, i guess these were the points uh, which i wanted to discuss and uh, also if you haven't downloaded the data science notes you can download the data science notes and uh, you can also join the telegram group uh, link will be in the description and also uh, do let me know if you have some more points uh, these were the points which i could think of so uh, yeah and thanks for watching and don't forget to uh, subscribe share like and comment i really like uh, reading your comments and i find them really useful and i like to improve the videos uh, based on uh, your comments so yeah see you in the next video bye